This is Tim Brewer coming to you from Bien and Lomita, the pastor of these uh, two small Methodist churches in Central Texas. Uh, we have a live broadcast or a live podcast uh, of worship, a live stream every Sunday morning at nine o'clock. Uh, if you'd like to join us for that or uh, join us on our website, uh, Ben Texas UMC, uh, or on our Facebook page. Um, there are all ways that you can reach out to each other uh, and to us uh, so we can keep track. Uh, we're doing a podcast because uh, I am of the conviction that uh, the Bible is an intimidating book when you don't know what's in it. Uh, you may hear of stories every once in a while that you remember or have heard before, but the, the massive part of the Bible is... Uh, it's hard to comprehend, especially if you just try to pick it up and start reading it. Uh, it's better if we know some great themes of the Bible. Uh, that way, when we get to different parts of the box script, we can say, oh, this is about that. Uh, so we're doing podcasts uh, to have some themes to help you get started with the Bible. Uh, it's not for experts. It's not for discussion of theology. Uh, it's just a, a broad uh, painted the Bible with a broad brush. Uh, today we're going to talk about forgiveness. Uh, forgiveness is not something that's very uh, big uh, quantity in the world today. We tend not to forgive people. Uh, to people who have uh, done us wrong, uh, either intentionally or unintentionally, hurt our feelings. Um, in fact, if you watch most movies, uh, it's about getting revenge. It's not about forgiveness. Um, but for, forgiveness is primarily a, kind, a, a characteristic of God. Uh, God is able to forgive. God wants to forgive. Uh, God has set the world up with certain parameters, with certain requirements, with certain restrictions for the good of humanity. The Ten Commandments uh, are basically the minimum requirements for living together. And so uh, when we violate those, uh, we're not only uh, hurting God, we're also hurting uh, other human beings. Uh, and we need forgiveness. Uh, a lot of times we don't ask for forgiveness. We make excuses and rationalization. Uh, but we want to seek forgiveness. Uh, God has a tendency to forgive. Uh, God has forgiven all through the scriptures. Uh, people who have done wrong, people who have, uh, uh, like the... Uh, Hebrew children in the, in the uh, wilderness when they started worshiping the golden calf, uh, God ended up forgiving them for what they did. But that, that was a, a, a violation of, the, of their covenant with God, but uh, it was forgivable. Um, God says we can forgive as he forgives. Uh, and he connects that with our receiving forgiveness with our ability to forgive. So not only do we have to ask, but we also have to forgive other people in order to receive forgiveness. Now when God's mercy, God's forgiveness, uh, clashes with God's uh, justice, uh, with what's right and what's wrong, uh, God's mercy, God's forgiveness tends to, to win out. Um, and so when we seek forgiveness for God, from God, uh, God gives it, God grants it readily. Um, and Jesus Christ is the greatest example of that forgiveness uh, because he was able to go to the ultimate uh, threat of humanity, uh, even to death, uh, and still was able to forgive from the cross. Uh, so the, God's forgiveness is uh, exemplified in Jesus Christ. Uh, God wants to forgive us. God wants to reconnect with us. God doesn't want to be divided from us. Uh, and so that's why God gives forgiveness. I'll see you next time.